Move the microphone. Man, move the microphone. Hello. Ah, uh, right, vlog time. I, I, I didn't want to do another vlog because I thought I, I have. Well, I've recorded a review. I just haven't made it live yet. Um. Yes, been busy. Um, it's taken me all week to actually shake off the the alcohol that I consumed over the weekend. Um. <clears throat> Uh, see getting old, it's not easy, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, now, there's a, a company called Apparition Mods. Uh, you'll, you'll find them in Facebook. And um, it's, Je it's Keith, Jeff, Jeff, Keith, Keith or Jeff, Jeff. Jeff and Sean, I think it is, if I remember right. Now, um, I just ended up speaking to him, and um, and and I really liked what I saw. And he said we're doing a DNA two hundred. Um, so this this is what I ended up with. Uh, this bad boy here. So I I asked him. I saw this, and I said I'll buy it. Uh, so I bought it, but they jazzed it up a bit for me. Um, it's mahogany. Um, it's got this a turquoise inlay going round here. Uh, this bit running up and down here is like cedar, ash, and something else. Um, it's got a turquoise inlay around the the five ten there as well. Uh, DNA two hundred uh, nine hundred milliamp three uh, S lipo in it, and. <laughs> I, I, it, do you know, it, it's not like anything I've really seen, which is what appealed to me about it. It was different. Um, and everything they do, apart from the board, DNA 200, and the battery, everything else is CNC'd or, or done in-house. Everything. Um, even the CNC machine, they built themselves. Uh, and it's just... Now I'll I'll do a a review down the line of it, uh, but um, just to give you a rough idea, uh, they're in the, the Utah and the states. Apparition Mods um, prices were um, and I've got prices here. DNA two hundred starts from three hundred and seventy five dollars. SX three fifty Jai single eighteen six fifty stabilized starts from three hundred and seventy five. Um, single 26650 starts from 425 and a C-frame starts from 425 now this is base price um, it's all bespoke it's, you can customise it you can ask them for anything and they'll do it and it's been a pleasure chatting to the guys I'm, I'm over the moon with what they've sent me on it has just arrived uh, I'll spend a lot more time with it before I actually do a review or show it off properly. Uh, but just as as vape mail just arriving right now, I'm just tickled pink. It's just it's not big either. It's not massive for a DNA 200. It's it's pretty small for a DNA 200. Uh, I mean, it's not as small as Limelight Box, uh, but it's it's not as thick as Limelight Box either. Um, yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so, thanks, guys. If you see this, thank you. Uh, I really am happy with it. And this uh, tank that I'm still running with the KYB6 or what? I keep forgetting the name of it. I'll get that right for the review. Loving that as well. Still enjoying it immensely. Um, that's been superb. Um, I've also this week been vaping away with my Continental. Uh, argh, get down, why don't you? Uh, did I leave the battery in this? No, I don't think I did. Uh, I've been using this with the Squape X in there. And I was having problems with um, battery lengths. And I didn't actually realise how many different lengths there are for 26650s. Uh, there are a huge amount of different length batteries. Uh, so... Thank you to Mooch uh, and his 
as always, amazing battery guides uh, where he actually listed the battery lengths. Uh, I ended up going with, uh, I've ordered them, they should be here tomorrow, uh, Green E-Fests. I think they're 4200 milliamp hour. Um, I've got the blue E-Fests here and, and they fit just fine. Uh, and I got them from uh, Norb, Echo, Echo Lux, I think it is. Uh, um, you can find them on eBay. So I got the, I ordered four new batteries. But uh, this, um, yeah, it's a DNA 40. It's a DNA 40. But, and a lot of people, myself included, um, it's a DNA 40. Why couldn't you make it a DNA 75 or a Yihi or... Or something else, but to be brutally honest, I'll never go over 25 watts, possibly maximum, when using an RTA in this. Uh, so for me, in the way I vape, no issues, no issues at all. And it's built incredibly well, this thing, it really is. So well chuffed with that. Um, what else have I been vaping with? Oh, the Nautilus X. I've been vaping away with this all week, on and off. Uh, and I'm just... That is, that's Milkman that's in there just now. That's Max VG. Um, it's 17 watts. Uh, it's... This, this wee thing wicks really well. Um, I, I, I'm, do you know, I'm quite impressed with this. The, the airflow adjustment is a pain in the ass. It's really bad to make out and to see. Um, and that is my main gripe with it. That really is it. That's my main gripe. Uh, it's just how to adjust the airflow. But the airflow fully open. I can do a very, I can, you can do a long hit in anything, but the, a very restricted kind of lung hit, but it's, it's it's a mouth to lung device. At the end of the day, it's really mouth to lung. But uh, I'm quite impressed with the coil so far. Flavor wise, uh, I don't think it's any better than the old Nautilus coils. My humble opinion. Yes, it wicks a lot better, so there's a bonus there. And uh, I'll give it another few days, and then I'll rip this coil to bits so we can have a look inside it. Uh, but but so far, uh, I, I'm quite enjoying the Nautilus X. Yeah. Uh, I'll get a review, hopefully, this weekend for the H Cigar DNA 75. Um, also, uh, at work today, Go Team Vapor Lounge, um, I bought uh, a Tsunami um, RDA, which I love. Now, I don't people, I, I can't keep up, people say don't get the Tsunami, get this instead, it's better or or, or it's this, it's that um, I, I really can't keep up with everything that's on the market all I do know is that this has got um, like Kennedy uh, RDA kind of uh, air holes in it, air comes from underneath into two posts air posts uh, on either side, two on either side uh, and the flavours Bra, awesome, really like it, really, really like the flavour from this. Um, I can drip a fair bit with it, um, and, and, it and it looks bloody awesome on this uh, titanium, titanium, I can't remember how to pronounce this, uh, I got it from the French company, um, do that again, these guys. Um, now I did say last week that I thought with I mean, this is, it's off just now. One, two, three, four, five. Clouds. Um, because I'm using the, the chip inside it just now. Um, you know, when you buy this mod, uh, you actually get, get out um, this wee thing as well. So it gives you a five clicks on, five clicks off option for a mechanical mod, which is really good. Um, 
it stops the battery discharging. Uh, I'll get I'll get I'll get all the specs and whatnot when I do the review properly. Um, get back down there. Damn it! I didn't have an anal probe. Um, battery down. No, why is the battery not going down? Because uh, of the O-ring, you muppet. There we go. It's gone now. Um, now, my, I, I think I said, uh, and I was referring to when I was drunk when I noticed this, that using the, the little circuit board, or the PCB, or whatever you want to call it, that there was a lack in power compared to when you didn't use it. I've got my test rig down, and compared the two using it with and without the little chip and uh, it's exactly the same there's no voltage loss using the chip in it which is awesome have another vape really I, like I say I, I don't know what's going on in the vaping world regarding drippers and how people feel about the tsunami all I know is that it looks good in this and it's really nice to vape with. Uh, it really is. And one, two, three, four, five. And it's off. Um, right, so that's that done. Um, what else have I been poofing away with? I, uh, I, I've been using the Aeolus light and I'm, uh, I'm really disappointed with the flavour from it. I'm not getting, compared to the Tsunami, I'm not getting, using the same juice, the same build, flavours pretty weak compared to the Tsunami. It's a bit disappointing, uh, but I'll do a proper review for that. Now, uh, toys! Um, Nick, uh, uh, Polaris AT Alpha Tango Polaris AT uh, they've got a Facebook group um, I got a present I didn't know it was called I didn't know it was coming um, it was it was just a, a little thank you from them for uh, for something I did uh, f for them um, I've got I've turned into Sean from the plumes a little spinning top uh, it's absolutely gorgeous and I've been sitting in the shop, well standing in the shop all day with the work at the counter and just spinning it. Um, it's gorgeous, I don't know, I think I'll, I'll do, hang on I'll get the, the uppy close carry on going here. So it's engraved there, uh, it's got my name on it. It's got, and then underneath at that and it's just a spinning top can't tell you any more about it um, love it that's me got two now uh, that's me got two now uh, he also sent me and I've just opened this I've not actually looked at it and I can't get into it now because I'm a Egypt there's a good Scottish word for you Egypt uh, Ooh. Ooh. Got to show you this. Let's, let's get this right close up. Quite a narrow bore. But look at that drip tip. Ah, it's just not showing it up here. But we can see it, the inlay in that. It's just stunning. Um, ooh, we're going to put that on. Ooh. Happy shabby. Uh, so, there we go with that. Um, I've still been vaping away with the Limitless RDTA. This is a beast of a thing. That, that, this really is a beast of a thing. I, I've got a, a lot of time for this thing. Um, now, it's not my, what I would consider my usual kind of, what I would look to for vaping. Um, but, well, bear with me here. Let's, uh, 
let's let's bump this up. No, really, let's let's bump this up. <laughs> this is alien for me. This is so alien for me. Eighty watts. <laughs> Eighty watts. Um, and I'm still getting gobfuls of flavour from this thing. I, I don't vape it like that all the time, but it's it's strange. For, I, I'm actually enjoying that. Don't tell anybody though. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it back down. But the thing is, I can vape it at uh, thirty watts as well, and and that's more pleasurable. Pleasurable. Pleasurable for me to vape like that. Bit of a slower ramp up time, but. Right, the, right the, there's no 510 drip tip on it, okay? There's no 510 drip tip adapter that comes with it. That's a big negative for me. Um, and the metal here feels kind of cheap. Uh, put the top cap back on and you get a little bit of liquid round there as well. And that's it. That's, that's the only negatives I have for this thing. It's just really good it's really good I really enjoy vaping with it it's fun um you know normally i vape i vape to not smoke that's why i vape and and the whole reviewing thing is great it's great fun shits and giggles and toys and everything and whatnot but i never forget that i'm only vaping myself to keep off fags but every once in a while it's nice to have some fun and and that's the kind of tank that I enjoy having fun with. Um, other things I've been doing this week, I, I do have to say that uh, I am thoroughly enjoying using this. This is the Endless Mods, the clean uh, with the Atty on top. Just it's not firing. There's a reason for that. Yep, can you guess what it is? Yes, you need batteries. Um, put that back uh, but I'm enjoying it lots of flavor from the Atty um, I, yeah it's a good make it's a very good make um, what else um, do you know I think that's about it this I'm using these again a hell of a lot uh, renewed love for the easy drippers um, because I just find that, you know, even when I'm driving, take that out, stick it on top of the dripper, push, and, it, and it's full. There's none of this holding it over and drip, 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 drip. You just push it down and your dripper's full of liquid. Um, these are really handy little things. Really handy. Um, so I've been using that a lot. Uh, Liquid-wise, oh, no, I'll show you this. Um, now, I don't know if you remember, a while ago I told you that I met a guy, I met a guy, um, uh, Jam, Vape Jam, and Wesley was his name, I just bumped into him and uh, he showed me this contraption that he was working on. Um, now, I'll, I'll give you more details, I've got a couple of questions for him, uh, but basically it's this, it's this little thing, that's all it is, just this. And what you do is you just unscrew the top like that. And you've got two screwdrivers in there. It can hold coils on this little rod here. It's got a little wheel underneath for holding um, wire. Uh, you can put cotton in your tray here. You can put a little bit of mesh in there as well. And, and then you just close it up like that. Screw the top back on. It's 3D printed. And that's it. You've got a tiny, tiny little toolkit. Um, I love it. This is my idea of a, a of a travelling gadget. This is this is brilliant. Um, I, I just it's kind of shit that appeals to me. Um, it really does. Uh, I have to get more information on it and whatnot, so I'll share that information as I get it. 
and when I get it set up and get pricing and where to buy it and so on and so forth, uh, I'll, I'll share all that information with you. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, that arrived. Uh, and you can also, if you choose to, you can get uh, a little pocket, um, you know, one of these multi-tool things. That'll come with it as well, uh, if you want. They recommend this one because it actually comes with um, a pair of scissors that actually are really, really good scissors. Great for cutting cotton and things like that. So they sent that on with the kit as well. Um, yeah, toys, toys. Uh, liquid wise, I have been hammering uh, the boom juice uh, custard and also the Yorkshire vapor juice as well. It's been getting blitzed this week. Oh, it's taken a hammering, a right hammering. And it's three milligram as well, which is probably why it's taken a hammering. I'm usually six milligram. Um, other things. Uh, right. Right. Um, before I forget, before I forget, because I was supposed to do this a while ago. Let's let's get um, let's get into this thing that I call my email, because I have to do a shout out for somebody because I keep forgetting to do it. Um, it was from Brandy. I have to do a shout out for Errol Evitz. I've probably said your name wrong, Errol, so we'll call you Bob, if you don't mind. Bob Evitz, big shout out. Uh, they have eight animals. You must be mad. I, I can barely handle one dog. So to Brandy and Errol, thank you very much for the email. Nice lass, nice lass. Um, right, uh, Easy Dripper, uh, you know about that. Um, I am going to be buying myself a new billet box. I'm going to go for it. Uh, I'm waiting till uh, At Mystique get them into stock and I'll buy one from there. I've got uh, the Aria Built and Cloud Kicker Society K's V2 RDA coming. Uh, I'm also going to have the new Limitless Box mod that's coming out soon. That's coming. Um, I've got another mod arriving tomorrow. In fact, I'll have three mods arriving tomorrow, which I'll not talk about. I'll keep as a surprise. Um, and it's, and that's it for gear and stuff like that. Um, right. Off the back of Vape Jam. No, Vape Expo. Uh, I heard they're, they're planning to have another one in October. Um, awesome. I'll go back again because I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was great. Um, I I really I loved meeting up with um, for a, for a while. Right, I'm going to go off topic here. I'm going to go off track here, and um, I apologise to those that have no interest in in bullshit because this is a bit of bullshit. In fact, this is pretty boring, and it's just mindless, num it's just crap. At the end of the day, this is crap. But I'm going to share some crap with you. Um, in the vaping community, in the reviewer section, if you like, the people that use YouTube and stuff like that, um, I, for a time, I'm aware that there's a lot of um, fighting goes on. With, others, with certain pockets of channels, reviewers and stuff like that and whatnot. And and I saw this and I just went, don't want anything to do with any of you. And I just blocked them on Facebook and, and unsubscribed from channels and things like that because as far as I was concerned, it was just negativity and I don't need negativity in my life. So off you go. Um, I, I met a lot of people at Expo that I'd, I'd basically cut out um, and got on great with them, had a laugh, had a real laugh with them and 
that that's one of the best things that came out of this whole experience was going down to this and I'm getting the evil eye. I'm, I'm on the camera. I'm, I'm on the clock here. I'm getting the look now. Five minutes? <laughs> I'm so dead. Um, and, and meeting up with these guys was, was great. Um, and, and that's one of the great things about going to these things, is you can... The internet's not real. <laughs> it's not the real world. Sitting there shouting at one another and bashing the keyboard, I mean, it's not the real world. It's when you meet these people face to face, that's when you find out what's going on. And and I had a great time. Absolutely loved it. Um, and I, I would say, <laughs> before I forget, Riyadh. Um, uh, it's on my um, Facebook page and whatnot. I linked it in my Facebook page. Should appear on my Twitter feed as well. Uh, go and watch. <laughs> he did this video. <laughs> Basically, he goes round and he was going, getting people and doing selfies with them, but he was recording, not taking photos. Best thing I've seen on YouTube this year. Just genius absolute genius in my opinion um, go and watch it um, and if I remember I'll put a link to it in, this, in, in the description for this video it just enjoyed it so much right this is a really boring bit okay I'm aware that there's somebody out there mouthing off about everybody else and saying they did this and did that and what not at uh, Expo right there's a certain reviewer that has basically slagged off every other group reviewer and whatnot out there. He slagged off me, Damien, Bissardo, um, loads of folk. Bitter, twisted little man. Um, now, I went to Expo and I saw another few folk that had spoken ill of me in the past. I actually came up and said hello and one of them came up and said hello and apologised for what he'd said and done in the past. Shook hands, job done. That's it. You move on. You've met in real life, you've said hello, and uh, you realise that there's... What's the problem? You know, it's just... Get on with your life. But there's this twisted little man that's just speaking vile pish about everybody out there. Um subscribers who cares how many subscribers you've got if I had 10 subscribers and it got one of them off the cigarettes I'd be happy I'd be a happy chappy um, that's it that's why we do this that's why we do reviews is to get folk off fags and uh, and because we have no life um, that's why we sit on top of a, a webcam all the time we're really boring individuals um, so when you hear somebody slagging other people off, boosting their own ego and camera and 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 just just fucking ignore them. Ignore them. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm not even gonna say their name because they're just I saw I, I saw this person at the uh, expo. Twice I saw them. Now as I said, this they slagged me off in several other ways. If that person had come up to me and said, okay, I'm a bit of a fanny, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said what I said, uh, I apologise. That would be it. Done. Dusted. I'd go, find me, on we go. But no, he went on video and basically slagged off lots of people again because that's what he does. He's a fanny. You bored yet? I am. I'm bored with even talking about it. Let's go on to more exciting things. Right, what's coming up for review? Uh, in the calendar, which... Um, nope, that's not the calendar. Uh, Google Calendar. There we go. I have got, right, the Rogue Mech Mod review for that this weekend because I said I would do it quickly for uh, the Yorkshire Vapor. Um, the only thing is I don't think he's got any left. I think he sold them all. 
uh, and I'm not sure when he's getting more in. Uh, the H Cigar DNA 75 I'll get done this weekend as well. Uh, the weekend after that, uh, we'll have the Movkin, uh, this bad boy here, Disguiser. <laughs> too big. It's too big. I do enjoy using it though. Strange. Um, the Theorem. Uh, got to do the Theorem. Uh, the, the tank I was talking about, which is the, the BY-KAV.6. Say that when you're bished. Um, what else? Uh, after, the week after that, I'll have the Nautilus X, the Spartans 300, if it ever appears. In between all that, I will have the these bad boys to review as well. I'll, I'm just waiting on the production versions to arrive, and I will review them as and when they came in. Uh, or when they come in, uh, because I'm quite happy with both products now. Uh, I don't have to keep them for any length of time before I review them. Uh, there's other stuff going on. The Hussar uh, still to come. Uh, and there's other stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm just... Uh, actually, hang on a second. No, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop. Uh, that's 31 minutes. 31 minutes of a man in a life jacket in a shed in Scotland is enough for anybody. Anybody. Um, and it's a Thursday night, so I'm going to go and watch the Ideal Ohm Show. Um, I'm going to go and play with my spinning top, walk my dog, and, 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 oh, oh, there go. Guys, 